First off, an amazing thank you to all of you um, who have been following Bernadette Logue's channel. Uh, one of the things that you might have noticed about Bernadette is that there's a lot more than just positive thinking on her channel. She is exploring something that is very dear to me with the life pattern. And she has a program in February about the soul odyssey as it makes its journey. And that's exactly what I'm doing when I'm reading your hand. I'm discussing about and introducing through the biological pattern your entire life soul journey. In Bernadette's case, her hand has a lot of long fingers and a long palm. And when you organize all those people, you can see all those people have an ego that is intellectual and rational. It means their way of making it into the world is going to be through explaining, teaching, learning, knowledge. In addition, she has a crazy lines. Now, normally people with long fingers, long palm, they don't have many lines, they have just three main. But if you look and zoom in on hers, she's got all these other lines that are just a kaleidoscope. So she's exploring multi multiple dimensions in her thinking. And so that's called fire energy and it's got a kind of a spirited nature. So now when you combine that, you have what you call air fire. You have somebody who is illuminating and, and it's like being on the top of a mountain and just showing the world as far in all the directions to the people climbing up to it. So when you see those people and you organize all those people with the, that hand type with all these crazy lines, then you get the most brilliant tribe. You know, you get uh, Dr. Richard Feynman, who was a uh, Nobel physicist. Uh, you get the, uh, Stan Lee from the Marvel comics. You get Carl Jung, you get just real ultra brainy, but they have a certain type of braininess to discover. Now, what's also interesting is that Bernadette has a headline that goes way from here all the way down into the subconscious region. And it even makes a, a star. Now, I've referred to this in another uh, program by somebody uh, from who's the founder of Holistic, who's do doing frequency reading. I also discuss it in, in, with Einstein, who had a headline that goes down there. What is that? It's the area of understanding energy, exploring in the frequency of everything around. And in Bernadette's case, she's doing the same thing, trying to understand what is life all about? What's the energy of life? And then when you put that into a structure like this, then you can see, okay, yeah, she's a, she's a teacher and she's illuminating. She has a path of enlightenment. Now, her soul came in for love. So who's gonna win here? Love or the intellect? She must find a path to merge both of these and to be in a process to open people's hearts through an illuminating path. And now we have a way in which by combining the ego, who gets to win, and the soul that gets to have a fulfilling path, we have a story of a woman who is trying to open up the hearts to the world by exploring every part of dimension of psychology and energy work to do that. Bernadette has a circle or something like an S on her right index finger, which shows she is challenged in the area of keeping a vision when she gets into an authority structure. So what we have here is a woman who wants to be independent. She'll have tried, of course, going into the corporation. And she'll do, I'm sure, very well in that story, if you know it. But at some point, she realized she not, needs to go her own path because she doesn't want to just be fulfilling others' expectations. She wants to be exploring her own vision. That's why it's an S there on the area of the directing finger. So when you combine that into a story, you can see she's running into the same challenge, same challenge, same challenge. You know, How can I be a big leader and hold together a business and still have love? And ultimately, in Bernadette's case, it's about enlightenment, it's about uh, discovery, and it's about forgiveness and opening her heart. When that all comes into a, a story of trust and being able to break the ice in her life, I mean, with the parents, with her friends, and everything, with you, and being vulnerable, what she's doing is she's opening herself to where everybody gets to win. The ego, the soul, and now she raises her own frequency in life and everything turns into even a Disney story. Well, Disney had loops on his fingers. Thanks for watching. 
And thank you guys all from The Daily Positive. It's been brilliant reading your hands. You guys are amazing. A lot of air fire people are coming to me who are already guys. It shows how much of a high octane crowd that is watching The Daily Positive right now. So thank you guys and we'll see you and I'll be looking at your hands. Thank you so much, bye.